sausage. Terry, uh, he's, just big, he's just a big sausage on your screen. I don't know. All right, well, anyways, we're rolling, gentlemen. Let's get going here. Uh, welcome back, everyone, the regulators. Uh, is my video up or am I a sausage too now? I don't know. Well, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back for another week, folks. Uh, Steve Garrenser, Steam Driven Media, and uh, I'm sorry, hold on a second. What have we got here? Guest Blogging Services, 995. Very nice. <laughs> it's about all. Excellent. <laughs> um, and with that service, you get 12 blog posts. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Oh, Fox, you should get them 995. You should get at least 10. Top Writing quality, quality mate. Writing quality oh, may vary. Good enough quality. for any article marketing site. The writing quality is great. I've got this tool. <laughs> I have a software that does that. <laughs> Give me your get rid of the and you're all set. <laughs> Finally got rid of the monkeys. Eh? We'll start calling yeah. it automated Steve. All right, that's Terry Redhorn. As you're joining Dojo SEO uh, pros and elsewhere, how are you today? How's those oh, leaves? Oh. Always how's good. Those, how's those all days are bad, so they're all good. You know what I mean? Right. So the not so bad days actually look like good days. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I have a very low days. bar, just like most SEOs. I have right. a very low bar for quality. Enjoy us this week is Barry. Barry Moran. I don't know where it was spamming. She, she might have nine ninety five. He had to step it up. Very nice. <laughs> More current. QDF radar is up. Uh, how's it going this week, dude? How are you been? I'm good, and there's lots of orders for spammy schema. So good for boils off. Sure. Yeah, you guys corner all the good. Uh, the old likes are by the gross for uh, you know a dollar three eighty a piece. Likes are so 2013, man. Oh, yes. It's all schema and guest blogging now. Well, you know, there's a big factor yeah. with these search rankings now, Dave. Got to have those likes. Likes and tweets for the win. Oh, yeah. I don't know that I'm working with someone and they're doing a lot of tweeting and. Uh, it sends one fifth of the traffic of uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, or any other uh, social site. Shocking. Thanks, Steve. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even use Twitter yet. Uh, I the last time I saw Twitter sending decent traffic was like a week after it started. <clears throat> When you compare it to the other other social sites for the clients I work with, it's it doesn't even come up in the graph. It's not enough traffic to actually justify a line on the bar. Yeah, how's the old Pinterest doing you? Well, that's killing it. Yeah, and you're in your uh, main category there. I would think it is. Yeah, it does very well. Steve only works with naked ladies. That's one of his uh, prerequisites for uh, clients. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to change that. All right, uh, I guess since Barry's already started it, we'll go right here first. Uh, all right, Terry, you just posted this in the chat room this morning. I haven't gone through the whole thing. What's, so what's, uh, is it, I assume it's Matt, or who's made this uh, comment of late? Uh, well, they recently, A, they cut 15% of the snippets out of the results. That was probably the spam. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what kind of kills me. It's, oh, they don't like them snippets. No, they just cut 15% that was spam. Oh, it's I see. Mostly, so the, yeah. uh, uh, mark up on invisible stuff that ain't there, if you know what I mean, Dave. The typical uh, amateur night at the spam factory. Okay, so it's a new manual action that uh, reads as follows. Mark up on some pages on this site appear to use techniques such as marking up content that is invisible to users, marking up irrelevant or misleading content, and or manipulative behavior that violates Google's rich snippet quality guidelines. Interesting. And Steve, I thought this wasn't possible. It's not. It was never possible because it was something that was controlled and 
you know, faking it would be impossible because, well, you know. Web webmasters would never do such a thing, right? I, I like I said earlier, we we talked about this years ago when Schema first started getting some traction five or six years ago. That it would be at at some point it would be abused and it would be devalued and it would cause problems and you know. I thought it would be uh, more abuse than there is. Well, I think there is. I think there's a lot more abuse than they're letting on. But there, this is like their first shot out over, over the bow, saying, "Hey, we're watching this." Yeah, and Terry, you got to consider that what value has it played or what prominence has it played over the years. You know what I mean? With the rise of more rich snippets, more semantic type markup, with the rise of knowledge graphs and all this other shit, it started to get on the radar more. So I'm sure it started to pick up steam. And it also begs the question of, you know, does this statement in itself inversely say that Google is valuing it to some degree? You also got to wonder why uh, no comment from Expedia. I uh, remember old Wes talking about uh, them doing uh, some stuff with snippets, remember? That may have got, may you know, or may not have gotten to Google. I think it was Expedia and TripAdvisor that were both fucking around. At the oh, time. okay. Oh, it was TripAdvisor, right? Yeah. Okay. Was it was them, wasn't it? Anyways, yeah. Apparently, both of them have been spanked. If you look at search metrics and whatever, you know. Ah. Which, so apparently, both of them got a little bit spanked. So yeah, I'm guessing some stuff like that. I'm sure reviews have been beaten to shit. I mean, you gotta wonder, AC, which ones are the most popular to abuse? I'm thinking reviews <laughs> is probably up there, man. Re reviews are pretty cool. Pretty easy to easy to fake. Especially if you're not relying on a human person to read the reviews, you're just relying on a computer to look at the schema markup and say, "Hey, look, this one gets five stars and it's had eight thousand votes. It must be good." <coughs> reviews and the other one that they were all well, the other one that some people were faking was locations. Right. Ah, right. Hidden, hidden, hidden locations. Mark them up. Fake it so they were popping in local. Yeah, we used to do that just by stuffing a whole bunch of city names in the footer. Yeah. <laughs> I know places this will do and it works just fine. But not, not that we can do that, Steve. Not that we can do that. You know, I, I'm so far beyond control. Yeah, it depends who's listening. Competitors or clients. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of right. I'm continuing to take a '60s approach to marketing. If it feels good and you like it, go ahead and do it. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, I caught a few diseases like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, one well. called, I one actually called, lived in those days, Steve. I was going to see your diseases were called penguin and panda. <laughs> No, hey, you want to no. see my penguin? <laughs> you better, put, you better put a sheath on that side, boy. Yeah. Really. Uh, Steve, I am now officially a fucking senior citizen, too. Remember? Oh, yes. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Yeah, I got my notice from the government. I can get a whole $260 a month if I retired today. Wow. Think how many fiber gigs you can buy for that? Oh, a raise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm going to visit Terry just so I can trip around town with him and get all those seniors discounts. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm looking yeah. forward to. Shows half price. Fuck, man. I might start going back. <laughs> buy two seats. That way I'll be comfortable. <laughs> All right, Steve. We had uh, what? Which unit was sold off here? Uh, Google sells Motorola Ooh. unit to Levo for two point nine ah. billion. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, Jesus. they only paid thirteen for it. What a year yeah. ago, Steve. Yeah, exactly. They paid what? In twenty eleven, they paid thirteen billion for it, and <laughs> now they've decided they're going to go ahead and sell it off for two point nine billion. So you know, it's it's only a little hit to the bottom line. The uh, fuck, man? Are you kidding me? Apparently, they decided to get that. Um, well, Motorola was losing two hundred and fifty million dollars a quarter. Well, well they got the uh, the uh, patents so still, right, Steve? Uh, we don't know. 
the the details haven't been published, so we don't know if they held on to the patents or. They so there could be some licensing deals going on. Is what well, you're Well, I think they there. still own the. I've read a few related articles. I think there's a labs that also was not included in that deal. And, and, it, and that's likely. They they probably did like most people with lots of money. They bought something, took all the good bits, and sold the crap. Yeah, it's like yeah. a fucking lost leader. <laughs> yeah. You know, they got what they wanted. They didn't have to go to court. It only cost them, you know, a quarter's yeah. worth of revenue. They, they still have to get. They have to still get through the regulatory approval of the sale. So. Yeah, but. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that yeah, that's a more. minor technicality. But I mean, it's a good deal for Lenovo. Oh, they're the they're in what China, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've been wanting to break into the U.S. cell phone market, and this is the easy way to do it. Ah, oh. so they probably still keep running Android and stuff too. Then. Yeah, well, because the Lenovo phones all focus on Windows. Oh, really? The, yeah. the number one phone in my brother's books, at least. There you go. He got all kinds of crappy. Excuse me. <laughs> he got all kinds of phones with Windows on. My number one phone has a cord that goes to the wall and a big old dial that you turn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was your TV more this week. Uh, let's go see what Terry's got here. What's with the iframes thing here, Terry? What, uh... oh, that was kind of interesting. Uh, as you know, I, I've talked to you about uh, kind of, as I said, uh, uh, segmenting stuff on an e-commerce site like that you don't want Google to associate with the page to dilute the uh, optimization, right? Uh, well, uh, it turns out that Google actually, in some cases, counts the content in the iframe, which is actually another page as part of the parent page. Uh, that's huge because I used to use that contact, uh, that particular one a lot. It's kind of like, you know, they're slowly taking away everything we can do to kind of. Well, I wonder, I mean, because like a lot of the stuff like Facebook now, a lot of your um, Facebook pages and fancy stuff is all iframed. And I'm wondering if that might be part of the long-term goal is to attribute all that content to Facebook instead of your own website. Yeah. It's also interesting in that discussion, It would, there was also a link to uh, uh, a high-ranking forum where Michael Martinez uh, showed that he had a link in a iframe that was followed to high rankings. Right. Uh, whether they pass juice. Well, what's important there is that uh, sometime last year, I'm sure, John Mueller said in a uh, Webmaster Hangout that uh, iframes, they don't follow links in uh, so it could be that Mike, this uh, particular instance that was written about on high rankings, I believe was a couple of years ago. So this may be, again, they've changed that. Uh, just, it's, it's another thing where you can see the crawling Steve has become that much more sophisticated in that before they wouldn't have linked those two pages the right. content together. Now here's the what the bad part of this. Uh, basically, you have scraping going on. Yeah. You could take uh, stuff off another domain because here's what's kind of interesting about the search in the uh, uh, discussion. Uh, it showed where a subdomains page was being uh, counted as part of the parent. Now, right. that would mean that if Google was, uh, and, and this is flaky, right? That if the Google, Google was counting that as a subdomain, right, as a separate domain, that would be uh, it taking content from one page 
and attributing it to another. See where I'm going with this? Yeah. I don't want to say the words. Okay, let's just let people figure out the what I, you know. Don't need to say the two words. Are you being negative? Yes. <laughs> it's surely hint, folks. It's a big hammer there. Yeah, well, according to even that 2012 poster, Michael Martinez playing with stuff was uh, they're saying these. Well, the SEO people are saying that it passes juice. So, yeah, that's uh, can't tell me they're following the link. That which, which I think at some point had to be the case. weren't a lot of widget ciphering's back in the day. Yes. Yep. Uh, a so, lot our, of you know what I mean? People did that for a reason. So. Yeah. And Which is kind of, of kind of why I would think Google would almost ignore them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that makes another thing interesting in that a lot of stuff, right, that is on a website, right, that may be private on Facebook and being displayed on a website, Google could then index that and get around uh, the blockage by the uh, robots. Interesting, eh? Barely only to us. I stupefied everybody. It's <laughs> <laughs> talent, man. Oh, no. uh, Barry, uh, Barry was throwing one around over here that looked interesting, and it's at least sort of not Google. I don't know. It's the closest we're going to get these days. But, uh, yeah, apparently uh, YouTube's been auditing. Spe speaking of things that tell you what a signal is, um, apparently they've started uh, auditing video views. Yeah, because the uh, time is a big factor in ranking. The amount of time that's spent. Uh, we, we have discussed this in the past where they used to take uh, the... Uh, if the person watched till the end, etc. Now they're looking at total times for uh, channels and video. So uh, they're looking at the time aspect, but they're also looking at the, uh, the, the the likes, the shares, the views. So if people are using any of these third-party services or click farms or whatever else to try and get more. To try and get more likes on it, then they are now going in and they are editing it and they're pulling it back down because they think that the more uh, the more likes and the more views something has, then the more trust that's shown on that page. So they don't want that trust artificially inflated by these third parties. So right, and then they're yeah. also saying that it, it plays into their advertisers as well as, as yeah. what they're saying as far as you know what I mean. An advertiser might pick a channel or pick something. Or they might deliver ads based on views when, in truth, no one's actually seeing them. Steve, they have uh, CPC, right? Mm -hmm. Ads uh, on YouTube. Yeah. It's not just click. It's impressions, uh, uh, just having the thing on. So that's really bad if people are, uh, uh, for instance, if I wanted to gain the Hangouts, I'd just go and have a bot go and watch them all the time, right through till the end. Uh, if there were, say, we were partners, we could have ads running there. Well, not saying that any of us would do that or anyone should do it. Uh, some of the methods can include purchasing views from third-party websites. Uh, deceptive layouts on third-party websites that trick viewers into playing a video when they click unrelated elements of the page, serving pop-unders, and redirects. When the URL changes and sends a viewer to a new page in the middle of a click. Yeah. Which probably means through the iframes that they're, some of this stuff is uh, using, they're probably seeing user behavior, and that's probably part of the audit, I would Makes me curious about the, the the relationship of views in the ranking uh, landscape as opposed to uh, percentage watch, Terry. Because I would think if you're tricking people, they're not going to watch a large percentage of that video. So you might get a lot of views per se, but you might not. I don't see you getting a 
Yeah. Shit, shit ton of people watching to the end. If I sat here in the eight hours, right? Say, for instance, I had a bunch of proxies. I would just go to our videos, turn them on on each proxy, uh, then go back to work, and it would take me five minutes to make it look like our videos were being watched multiple times for right through till the end, like everybody should watch us and should watch right through till the end. Yeah, that, that's why they changed it from the, the likes to the, the viewer ratio. But then again, it's not normal for everybody to watch it right to the end. So they're going to be dropout. So the, uh, the bots that are out there, should someone choose to use something like that, then they don't watch them all to the end. They mix it up. It's just the same as reviews. You know, you wouldn't have a five-star review. You know, it's like 3.7 is the average or something crazy like that. So, um, the uh, a lot of the bots drop out after a certain period of time, um, right. and then a lot of the the, uh, the third parties who are trying to fake it have got massive rotation on the proxies, Terry, because again, Google started drilling down and looking at the proxies that were viewing it. And if you're getting multiple views from a, from a single IP, again, that's not natural. So, Yeah, there would be, even like I said, if you're doing any amount that's going to move the thing, <coughs> you're going to have a footprint unless you really got a lot of proxies. Yeah. That's a thing. People just don't understand how, you know, how sophisticated. Especially, remember, they got 50 new machine learning guys. That that's all they look for is footprints and shit Steve, like they, they would, Steve, they would take a shift put the boots to us and to the marketers again. As YouTube creators, we ask that you be extra careful when working with third-party marketing firms. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> some of them will sell you fake views. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the boots one more time, and thank you. Heaven forbid you work with a marketer. I know. Yeah. Well, if, if, yeah. if you need your YouTube video promoted, then just pay us, Google, lots of money, and we will promote it for you. Yeah, uh, well, that's right. Here's my experience with YouTube. If you have, and this is going to sound, you know, cliche, if you have good content, you don't have to do nothing. Yeah. Uh, I've, I started working on YouTube uh, the day that Google bought them. Uh, I have one site that I worked with, over 26 million downloads. Uh, yeah, uh, it's very effective, and they do nothing. They add a few videos a month. That's it. Uh, but... The market they're in, uh, they don't have to do PPC. Organic, they still place, but it doesn't really matter because, uh, you know, they're driving a lot of traffic just from Yahoo, from uh, the videos. Because they're not just on YouTube, they're embedded all over the place. Uh, I never really done a big study, but uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. But I don't even bother uh, working with clients unless they're willing. Like this company uh, had a big warehouse. They devoted part of their warehouse to uh, a studio and actually had musicians come in and demonstrate the equipment. Uh, we did reps, and after about a month of reps, uh, I just said, look at the comments from the people that are watching these. They don't want to hear from reps. They want to hear from players. Well, at least Terry, at least YouTube's getting scraping right. Well, I, yeah. made, I made I made a video. I made a video, a video for the kids last week or whatever, and there was a Stevie Wonder song in. But nothing's monetized on the channel they use, right? It's just you yeah. know put up their game videos and shit. So nothing's monetized. So I'm not worried about copyright. And sure enough, you get a notice that tells you that uh, we found copyrighted music. It belongs to so and so. And if you leave it in there, they will be able to show ads on your, your videos. So, yeah, the person who stuff you scrape gets to put ads on your video and monetize That's it. That's pretty cool. For free? Yeah, For yeah free. They just, they'll show ads on my yeah. kid's video. And if anyone clicks it, the people who, you know, BMI. Come on. Hey, Barry, get your boys over here. Come on. 
<laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, they got scraping down, at least. They don't want to pay people that get scraped. You know, what the hell? I'm just kidding, Barry. He is not a spammer. <laughs> well, then why are we even talking to him? Yeah. <laughs> Not clever enough or good looking enough to be a spammer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Oh, Where to not. next? I don't know. Not a lot of. Re oh, I want to talk uh, about the piece there by Greg Sterling and the mobile and search. Did you read that one? Mm. Very interesting read as to how people. Uh, are using uh, uh, mobile and to do price comparisons. It, search at search is a fourth. Uh, all apps in front of it. Very interesting uh, piece. You see it there? Uh, one second. Well, here comes the entertainment, Steve. <laughs> here we I'll go. Leave, uh, here we go. Yeah. Are you out front? Uh oh. <laughs> it's just dealer. <laughs> no, it's Google. <laughs> One second. That's his brother. It's Google. They came to have a chat. Okay, what's that? We I would suggest we get this section out, but that's not going to help. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, mate. Can't figure out the lower third. Has no idea where the mute button is. No problem. Okay, I'll uh, write uh, her tonight. I'm going to do uh -oh. that today, and I'll look after that other thing. Okay, okay. Steve, Steve Plunkett was just letting us know via the Q&A app that uh, they took the patents and sold them. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's actually... Uh, Yahoo Search is, uh, I mean, Yahoo uh, has had some good stuff for mobile for a while. No, uh, Steve Plunkett was just letting us know about the Google Motorola deal. Oh, what's that? No, uh, apparently the, here, let me go get you the link. Do, 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 do. It's in the Q&A app, actually. You should have access to it. Oh, yes, maybe. <laughs> There's a reason I don't have a name, Bart. Uh, oh, there's three questions there. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. See? What's happened to these Hangouts? Blame Google, not us. They are whacked. <laughs> They have they have totally screwed hangups up. Like nobody gets our invites. They hate us, Steve. They hate us. Well, according to this article as well, Steve, they already cashed in 2.3 billion for selling Motorola's uh, TV set-top box business. So. Oh, so, so like I said, they only sold a small part of it. Oh, yeah, because Motorola also, oh, right, Motorola used to also have uh, equipment for towers and stuff. I, is that what they sold? Well, they were also having, apparently, according to this article again, <clears throat> they were having some Motorola uh, patent disputes with more Motorola at the time, so a large part of them buying it at the time was just to save legal fees as well, so... Yeah, or not having to deal with it. They wanted well, to... Well, sure, that's not, that might affect stock price and a whole bunch of other things, yeah. right? So That's the ZNet article, is it? Yeah, correct. I put a link in there. Where did I put your chance? Oh, here. I'll drop it. Link. There you go. Yeah, all right, so we'll put that in the show notes for the folks. Anyways, where were we? Oh, yes, Yahoo. There we go. Well, the the thing is, the usage was uh, very interesting in that uh, apps were far and away the choice of people that were doing uh, 
price comparisons on mobile devices. Search only had 19% of it. That's huge. So that could be Facebook apps, probably is a big uh, part of that. Or at least, uh, and, and again, I think we have to temper that with being situational. This is a this one particular situation is for people buying cars. So comparison is going to be a lot higher in activity buying cars, I would imagine. No, uh, right. You know, it's a pretty, things, it's a big ticket yeah. investment. You know, if someone's buying a pair of socks, I'm not sure they're going to use it as much. You know. uh, Steve, uh, remember uh, a few, well. We've talked in the past about how stores are even turning off uh, and making it impossible to use your phone inside of the store, so you can't do price comparison outside. Uh, so I think it's a big part of everything. Oh, well, I know. I know the missus is fond of QR codes and shit like that. Yeah, and it's also a good way to come if you have a good price comparison app. Put any product into it, and it tell you what the prices were. So anything that really matters is probably in an app somewhere, and that does affect, uh, in my opinion, because the experience is so much better in an app than even if you're using the responsive design, which is, you know, that solution. I'm starting to have second thoughts about. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Not that that should mean anything. I'm sure Steve just laughs at it inside, giggling. Not anymore. Uh, oh, okay. maybe, cry, maybe cry a little. Oh, okay. Now it's concerning. No. Mildly <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. Quite, <clears throat> quite weak out there. La, 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 la. I was yeah. just, I, anything I found was just me bitching and whining, I think, this week, so I don't know what to tell you. I, you know, I, I kept seeing more fucking link building articles everywhere that actually seem to be oh. PR, content development, and a bunch of things that don't sound like link building, so I'm not so sure what the fuck. Oh, link building is a fucking dirty word now, Dave. Yeah, well... I, I, I'm, I, I'm surprised that uh, Google Plus, they do not, you know, they censor that word. If you say link building, it just goes beep, 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 beep. Well, yeah, it, it, it's all the same dribble now. It's all just, you know. Yep. Well, I guess it was, sorry, it, it used to be content marketing and guest posting. Now, now it's, it's just, you know. It's just content marketing. I'm, I'm just, there's wondering, nothing I'm left. The day where having left. It's having a website gets you penalized. <laughs> I've heard that. He's got a website. He's got to be spamming. I, I've heard that, Steve, but I'm sorry. Until Matt Cutts writes a blog post about it, I refuse to believe. <laughs> uh, if, if, you, if you have your website on Blogspot or if you put it on one of the, um, what is Google's own little web hosting deal and uh, where else maybe wordpress.com those are the only three places where you can have websites and even then maybe not search engine journals answer to things was building backlinks with video and technology Ooh. how to build backlinks with webinars Oh, there we go. There's the new the new hot ticket webinars. Go old school, building links with traditional peer. <laughs> uh, building links. Fuck me. I feel bad for the PR now, people. Steve, there. Steve. Now, Dave, if they had have said attracting links with PR. Well, I, there's the thing. You, you got to get the word. Yeah. That's it. You got to get the word building because I don't know if it's. Yeah. You know, if you're still, you know, build, building tiered networks and you're still doing things of that nature, okay, you're building links. If it's anything else like you're saying, Terry, that's, you know, a combination of, uh, you know, content programs with social and what the fuck ever, you're attracting them. You're not building them technically. So I just, you know, I hate the term at this point. Heaven forbid, you know, that the uh, PR, right, component 
actually is related to anything else and is meant to leverage, you know, what you're doing other places. You know, what it was supposed to do! Jesus Christ! The hell was that? <laughs> That's my crazy man look like. These people are just making me crazy. Uh, yeah. Like, how long have we been saying this, Dave? Like, you know, and we were the dumb ones because, you know, we we didn't do things because it worked. That's right, dickhead. <laughs> it works. You guys are idiots. Stop what preaching. Oh, we Stop preaching so your simple. lily white crap to us. We know. Right, Dave. What did we do instead? We built social signals. Oh, geez. Almost like we were knew what we were doing. Nah. Anyhow. Nah, I just got lucky. No, we just got lucky, Steve. It's a blind squirrel thing, man. I've been a lucky man for 20 fucking years. <laughs> I'm 60. What do you expect? Yeah. I just, you know... I keep seeing things that are called link building, and I keep wondering what the fuck everyone's talking about. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Sorry, man. I'm just sticking show notes in for you as I go here. That's see, I was dead again, sort of. Oh, boy. Sort of. Let's go yeah. shoot it. Let's shoot it, yeah, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll enjoy the, the dripping with irony on this one, I think, again. Kind of. Works in with our last topic. Standalone SEO as a standalone tactic is dead. Wow. Was it ever uh, alive? That's what well, I. Not as a standalone, I don't think. I guess at some point, if you were mass spamming the fuck out of things and weren't using other channels and whatever, I guess. Oh, you mean that internet marketing stuff, Dave? Well, I'm thinking even further back. Well, with that's old school. Well, that don't work. That, even that even further, 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 further back with like you know affiliates, arbitrage, and stuff like that. You know, and <laughs> MFAs made for AdSense, shit like that. I guess maybe it was a <clears throat> great business model, but yeah. Today, treating SEO as a standalone project or even an ongoing function is doomed to failure. Wow. Where did we come up with this shit, man? I have no clue lately. I've never heard of her. Maybe her brother. Well, I'm out of touch totally. I haven't heard of half the people I fucking read lately. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> well, the only culture I know played for Detroit. Used to hit Joey. The window, used to go at it all the time. Joey, right? Yeah. Him and Keith Pringle. Or, no, what was his name? The guy who told Keith, I think. Anyhow. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, yeah. We could talk some soccer for Barry, but I've never been obligated. Football, to damn it. All oh, right, football. Yeah, real football or rugby. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. That's talk, talk, Yeah. A real, a real man's game, not that wussy game where they all put pads on and run about. Um, okay. I stayed, I stayed up and laughed. Only an Irishman laugh would play football without a helmet. <laughs> That's for Justini. Not, not sure if you caught this in the chat room earlier, and it's really not news, but I just had to laugh. Some guy on YouTube asked his Android phone how many countries there are in the world. Hold on. What did it come back with? According to World Atlas, many sources offer different answers. 189 quadrillion countries. got to watch the video. It's pretty funny. That's your knowledge graph at work. Wow. 189 quadrillion company, countries. Those, uh, those Olympic uh, opening uh, ceremonies are going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I just thought that was funny. So there you go. 
entertain yourself with that later. I don't know what else. Yeah, I'm just whiny today, I think. Next, uh, <laughs> what you need to know about on page optimization. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Here's interesting. Hummingbird. Yeah, yeah. Look at what Moz uses as a freaking subcategory or as a uh, part of their uh, link architecture. UGC, every search engine's favorite thing. User generated <laughs> content. Oh, Google eats that shit up. Yeah, it was, it was from Let's G label Plus. our fucking content for him. <laughs> and people wonder why I laugh at this guy. What are you saying, man? <laughs> UGC is not the way to go. <laughs> That's why I don't read the shit. <laughs> That's it, you know, we'll just end up, you know, the way things are going, Steve, we just won't have a show in a while, you know, we'll just be yeah, sitting going, I don't fucking know, I don't read anything anymore. <laughs> Fuck off. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. We still can't do anything. Well, after the whole, after the whole guest blogging fiasco, dude, I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to read Matt Cutt's blog from now on, because unless he says it, well, it didn't fucking happen, so. Yeah. yeah. You, you I mean, God forbid you had to use your own fucking head and figure out that this thing was going to die or in some ways die in the coming uh, I'd like to uh, see our first discussion about when, how, how guest blogging was already. My, I think my first article was um, fall of 2012. Really? Yeah, that's the furthest back I could find it. And usually when I write something back then, it's because yeah, we've, we've been, we've been about chatting it. about it. Right, right. Because... So. I remember distinctly saying, well, I talked to Doc, and Doc was telling me how everyone now wants blog posts, not uh, article marketing, and, but they're still using the same shit. Yeah, crap, crap articles, dump them anywhere, it doesn't matter, fucking, you know, That's mass why I don't need reusing. Google, I just need to see what other people, and not say... I'm only saying that, you know, I'm not saying that that's something Doc would recommend doing. In fact, I know he wouldn't. But, uh, you know, like anything else, if you offer him money, he's going to do it. Like, that's only business. That's, you know, he's providing a service. So. Uh, but, you know, if, if, it depends. On, you know, if writers are asked to create content, not asked to place it anywhere. If someone's paying them to write it, then... Yeah, that's... I'll give Doc this much. He leaves that to other people. That's... Yeah. yeah. But, you know, someone that's asks you... His, uh, a service a, on a shelf. Yeah, he's a writer. So if someone asks you to write a piece, you're going to write the piece, but... The, the, you know, he's not going to want... Um, he's not going to want his author... His entity associated with that piece of content if he's got no idea where somebody's going to publish it. Yeah. Well, I don't think he does much of that other, that no. what we're discussing. No. I know. Uh, but he's, these, these people, these people just... what he recommends as a strategy. Right. No, not at all. But these people, you know, these people just decide to get hundreds of pieces of content public, uh, created, you know, crap stuff, like we were joking about at the start, you know, Steve saying he's got a, a bot to do that, and then they just put it anywhere and everywhere. Oh, yeah, I've been to Odesk in a year or so, but last time I was there, it was like five bucks for an article and shit like that. Yeah. So. Place, yeah. place, place yeah. five bucks a piece. Yeah, no, you, see, you see these people offering um, 10 PR so, uh, six to eight um, placements, you know, content plus placement, you know, mm -hmm. 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I mean, how yeah. the fuck can anyone in their right mind think that there is any value in that at all? But, hey, they do. And these Muppets are spending money and there's other Muppets making money. But The problem is, is it used to work. And it used yeah, to work it very did. well. Yeah. And well, that's, why, that's why things like that, you know, the networks are such a success, mate. Yeah. 
And, and these are things that Google had to have known were going to get abused, and they should have devalued them from the very beginning, but they didn't. Why they chose not to, I don't know. It was it some misguided belief that nobody in there were nobody would ever do something bad on the internet, or was it simply that they wanted the data, and were with the plans of doing exactly what they did, cleaning it up later? See, that was, that was, that was another funny aspect of this. I mean, I seen it on Twitter the other day, where um, Rand was involved in a tweet debate conversation with some little guy and they were talking about black hat or grey hat or whatever else and um, you know Rand had been or Rand admitted that he joins you know black hat world wherever else and he goes in and he trolls for information to see what they're doing and buying some of the products that are on offer then testing them and whatever else but, you know so if that dude comes out and admits that fair enough but for people to think over the years that Google hasn't been uh, either buying or infiltrating all of these networks, yeah. products, whether it's WSO or BHU or whatever else, they're fucking deluded. They're deluded. So yeah, and however long it took them to make the decision that they made to go down the path that they wanted to go down as far as updates was concerned and starting to penalise certain things, Whatever their thinking was behind it, we'll never know. But, you know, for people still to be peddling that hard in front of the garbage that we're seeing being published on a daily basis by nobody who want to get famous overnight, it's just, you know, it just fucking does my tits in. For the record, there's some well-known sites in our industry that are publishing shit every day. Oh, geez, some well-known. <laughs> Branded Tree's still going on about how you don't have to remove links, uh, you know, uh, just disavow a view and keep building. I don't know if you've seen it the other day, Terry, but I, um, I, you know, disagree with what they're saying and their methodology. As I know that you do and I know that Dave does, and, but you know, they they uh, I got into a bit of a, a debate with them. It started on Twitter and then it moved over to Google Plus. And then Stevie Phil SEO Ono he wrote a blog post about it. Um, you know, they they firmly believe that they have their process nailed down, and that they don't have to remove a single link to lift a manual penalty. That's what they believe. I. Don't believe that. Neither do you. Neither does Dave. You know, I've but never been able to have a penalty. Li I've never been able to have a penalty lifted unless I moved the shit. You know, yeah. and been through three, four, five, six reconsideration processes with one site to try and get it lifted because you know Google had a hard on for it and wouldn't let it go. So, you know, yeah, I, I, but, I was but, just uh, and it's shit like that, right? That. I, I was just talking to a client trying to, uh, well, I'm trying to land them as a client. And, uh, you know, they weren't so, they wanted guarantees if it would work. And all I said was, if you do what I say, then, yeah, I'll guarantee it. Because I'll just keep cutting fucking links till it works. It's that simple. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you have idiots like these, hmm. And here's the thing. One thing, they are disavowing. Like, so how massive is the disavow? And there is one thing that I think is positive about that. And it has made me rethink a few things and start to wonder. Because, you know, I'm going to say there's got to be some truth to what they're saying. Right? Mm -hmm. But there are links that I want gone just because. Uh, for instance, I was working with a site that is a consumer product, and they were on porn sites. I want to yeah. get that removed. Uh, you know, disavow. I don't even want that disavow. I want it fucking removed. Uh, yeah. That's the thing, right? So uh, the main thing reason I'm starting to reevaluate is if you cut with a machete and you cut too deep, right, you are hurting the site, right? 
Uh, but if you again, I, I gotta, you're gonna have to go with, with situational, though. You know what I mean? I took out a 200,000 links out of 240,000 links, and the needle didn't move at all. You know what yep. I mean? The guy didn't go, and you know, eventually we got the recon accepted, and we yep. got him out of the penalty box, and we're starting to build things back up now. What but I'm nothing doing. went down. For, you know, nuking 200,000 links didn't do fuck. It didn't go down. It didn't. Yep. Shoot, you know, it was yep. already down as low as it was going to go once you're in the yeah, fucking. Yeah, but manual, what? So. There was a hundred thousand and one. Uh, uh, yeah, most of those were across a handful of domains. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was a bunch I, of paid, paid site wide. So that's what I'm saying. Situational. Sometimes yep. you know the, but, the big cleaver works. When you get down to where you have a single link on a page, right? On a single link on a single site, uh, and you're not sure now. What I'm going to do is I've added another classification that it kind of goes into a, okay, we're going to disavow this for now, right? Because Google has said, and this is, you know, just taking them also on their word, that if you disavow a bad a link that they think is good, that you shouldn't have disavowed, they're going to still count that. And that makes sense as we discuss, Dave, because they don't want us building a link graph. Yeah, we're, we're not in charge of what they're going to value and devalue. Right. I, so you know, this... it, it's, it's not going as far as branded three. I've basically just gone from to a new classifier, and I'm not going to try and... Yeah, if, if I'm in doubt, if I'm in dark, doubt on the darker side, I'll throw out the disavow. If I'm in doubt on the lighter side, I might leave it. And explain to the client that, you know, first recon might not go through, but it's better than throwing the baby out with the bathwater because they'll, they'll often now come back with, with examples. And, and many times that helps me to start classifying better what kind of links they're not liking. So, yeah, yeah again, it depends. If it's a darker one, I'm not sure, fuck it, in the disavow of those. But you've all you know, already segregated those links. Right, Dave? You've got them in a separate classification. Yeah. They're already oh, yeah, yeah. viewed. All you have to do is say, okay, I'm going to take some of these and maybe remove some of them. Have another look at, you know. Steve, do you, Steve, do you uh, disavow or get rid of anything like the top level directories? You know what I mean? Your Jade's best of the web and all that kind of stuff? Nope. We believe everything. Me neither. I've had people, clients who are like, okay, why are, if the directories are bad, why are we getting rid of all these ones, but we're keeping these ones? Because Jade uh, yeah. used to Not be. all directories are bad. Yeah. No, Jade used to be in the uh, oh, yeah, yeah. in the in the results. Same with Joanne Gimpsey. Yeah, Joanne, There's a Gimpsey. bunch of them that uh, they're old old directories. I would say oh. anything that looks like a bunch of other directories is they're all in the same group, and it starts with the the software running them. And yeah, so, Steve, I've I've done recon. And got manual penalties lifted and left those ones in place. So, yeah, well, those directories Steve and I talked about, they actually wrote their own directory software, right, Steve? Yeah, right. They were actual search engines back in the day before Google. Did you see uh, that article? It was kicking up out. Huge. Did you see that article? It would be huge. You see that article was kicking out yesterday, but deep. <laughs> he still cuts them off again a third time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's quality Derry Van Horn. All right, Barry, you got the, the talking uh, stick, man. Go uh, do you see the article yesterday was kicking about about DMOS, about uh, some people disavowing DMOS and now DMOS now on some kind of cleanup and whether you should still have a DMOS link or not. <laughs> Well, didn't didn't uh, Dima just add a new... Uh, why did you to read that, important? Dima? Um, in that UTC category? Didn't Dima just add a new feature where you could report links on Dima if you thought they should be taken down? Yeah, I, I think know, so. I haven't yeah. seen that. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, spam links in the comments, probably. I don't know. All I know is Dima hasn't been worth being in since shortly after it was created. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never was one to make it a big part of any kind of foundational link building. I rarely, well, I don't think I've ever. It's just too much of a pain in the ass at the time. The only, back, reason, you know, DMOS, the only reason to be in DMOS back in the day was because so many people took their feet. 
and you got into DMOS, you automatically got into scrape you know, rank. Scrape, so, scrape rank for the win. Exactly. Well, and, and, uh, Google was using it as seed for their uh, crawler. Right. So, but that, you know, now we're back to, okay, well, I submitted my link to one site. And that, or maybe I didn't even submit it. Maybe DMOS, like they claim to, actually went out and found the link and put the link in their own directory on their own. But then 1,500, 2,000, 5,000 other directories went, ooh, scrape. Now, how's that my fault? I didn't do oh, it. That was great. Uh, DMOS had an actual. Uh, well, yeah, they had a, they had a feed. EI type thing where you could uh, right. put their uh, their search right on your site, and uh, right. that was always Google. No, had no problem with that because also those sites also took in submissions, and they have a real review process there. So, not all not all the sites that took DMOS feed. Yeah, okay, thing. yeah, oh, you're, you're correct more. there. And not all DMOS, uh, as we said in one show, uh, you know, DMOS is a paid directory. All you got to know is who to pay. That's it. That's just like Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Just got to find yourself an editor. All right, well, it looks like we've cooked pretty much everything, Terry. Let me go take a quick look. Oh, and we just have enough content for an hour. See, there you we're go. Doing, we're awesome. We're, we're awesome this week. We're bordering. Well, okay, we have the... Is there a theme to Google's latest acquisition, acquisition binge? You had an article from oh, News Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I, I was uh, listening to. Pulls in. Uh, there's a couple of projects that you know. I hear SEOs and people in search talking about, which is uh, Google Now. I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> it's a it's a card based system, kind of like you see with knowledge cards and graph cards and stuff like that. But it's oh. for the it's for Android. It's on Android. That's why you wouldn't have seen it. Yeah. Jeez, mobile phone. What's that? So we have Boston, Dynamics, Nest, and DeepMind over last month. Yeah. Four billion spent. They're spending more and more on uh, electronic, uh, consumer electronics, and shit like that. Hmm. But all those things are kind of, some of them are like the uh, Wikipedia writers. <laughs> Uh, should I pass that one around, Steve? <laughs> okay. Steve's passing the tips heavy here, folks. WikipediaWriters.com. Dare I look at this? <laughs> That's where you go to pay. <laughs> all right, so anyway, tell you what, da, 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 what is uh, this guy saying? Oh, it's all about the AI stuff again, is it? Okay. Yeah, and how the, it plays into... They bought three, if you look, that's kind of three related things. Uh, you have the robotics company. You have a consumer product company, which is the Boston Dynamics. That's that top box, is right, Steve? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay. I thought so, so basically we have a future that looks like the Terminator, except the robots will be selling us travel packages and ad space. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. You will buy AdWords now. <laughs> yeah, and who who knows how many other small companies they've bought up. Yeah, uh, they don't make the news. Oh, yeah. So right. In other words, uh looking at the talent once again, right, Dave? You look at engineers, I look at I like watching the companies they buy and the talent yeah. in those companies cuz that tells you you know, when they when they bought DeepMind, I'm thinking, oh, here comes Panda 50 times over. Imagine that, folks. I'm giving them lots of Manson eyes, Steve. What do you think? I know, man. Demonstrative. <laughs> All right. Up in our game here, folks. 
we will be entertaining, if anything. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, fuck off, Steve. What are you doing? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Can I, can I plus one that, Steve? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go right ahead. All right, boys. We'll bring up another hour. Hurt. It's not against the rule, the terms of service for Google Plus to require a plus one before someone reads the content. <laughs> well, uh, well, you get you put it plain and shaded. Here's the thing that I can't figure out. Sometimes I see our Hangouts and they're marked as shared privately. That's why we don't get many viewers. Uh, like I said, dude, each, each week it, tell, it asks you who you want to share, whether it's public and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, always pick public, Dave. All I'll pick there. them all. I had all my fucking circles, pal. Oh, you, you just check them all, eh? Just boom, 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 motherfucker. I'm spamming the bitches. That's the bases. And That's like, oh, it. fuck, here's Dave again. It must be Wednesday. You some people don't. Some... Up, they can't make a mistake, and they still fuck it up. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of people out there, my 10,000 followers, that don't fucking watch this show. They just use my fucking sh spam every week. Is oh, it's 11 o'clock Wednesday. Okay, I gotta go pick up the kids. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Dave's fucking thing again. Right, it must be 11. All right, thank you. I'm a fucking alarm clock. So. All right, boys, there <laughs> we go. Wrap her up. We pulled in another hour this week. Uh, big thanks to Barry for dropping in. Thank you very much, sir. She has uh, feel free feel free to come by anytime. Apparently Justin's gonna be missing in action for a while. Some personal issues and things of that nature. <laughs> Terry and Steve, pleasure as always. Have a good week, everybody. Yep, go make lots of money. That guest posting's still working good. Don't forget the schema yeah. markup spam. Don't schema. Need that schema, spam. For the, schema, schema, schema for the win. Schema for the win. Schema markup for the win, yep. Right, folks, I'm, off to, I'm off to set up a site right now. <laughs>